March 1929, the fleet that has supported the invasion of uh, the Dominican Republic has to return to port to rearm, refuel and uh, conduct repairs. So we will be reorganizing the fleet and then uh, returning to uh, clear up the last remaining British, French and German, uh, German ships that are operating within the Caribbean. Uh, the Germans have taken a massive loss. While our submarines are hunting, while our uh, destroyers are hunting their submarines, uh, there's not an awful lot, lot left. We know of uh, a light cruiser and a couple of destroyers, but the British are still marauding all over the Caribbean, and uh, it's up to our cruisers at the moment to hunt them down. The Tuscaloosa, operating on the eastern seaboard, is uh, has intercepted. Uh, one of the uh, British heavy cruisers that is looking to catch Atlantic trade and uh, that looks like an even match so we will see how that turns out. Unlike in the Caribbean the sea in the Atlantic is unusually calm and the Tuscaloosa at the setting of the sun is chasing uh, the evasive smoke of that British heavy cruiser that has been reported by fishermen to be operating in the area. Tuscaloosa herself is equipped with radio direction finders, so we actually know where the enemy cruiser is. Uh, we're not sure if she's gonna give battle or if uh, she is moving off, but uh, we'll give chase. Tuscaloosa can do 30 knots at flank speed and uh, we'll see if we can catch her. And there she is, a British heavy cruiser. Let's see what we're up against. That looks um, interesting. That almost looks like a battle cruiser design, complete forward gun layout. But uh, and in that regard, she actually may have a bit of an advantage over the uh, Tuscaloosa here, because we have a slightly more balanced layout. In that case, given that oh no, she is turning about, but uh, I'm not sure if she has torpedoes. Don't think so. Very interesting design that the British came up with here. So. In that case, if she is going to if she is going to run, that's going to put her at a massive disadvantage. Well, right now we're engaging at uh, 10 kilometers, which is a still a little bit far for Tuscaloosa's eight inches. But um, I think that is about. Uh, uh, she's got a veteran crew, so uh, that uh, should be about getting in range. Let's see if we can get some shells on target here. First blood, uh, four deck partial penetration from the Tuscaloosa, and yeah, if you're if you're sailing away with that gun layout, um, you're having problems. Also, uh, I would severely not encourage you to fire your guns while it is pointed right next to your bridge. Uh, that probably doesn't end well. <laughs> uh, we've got the high explosive loaded. I don't know how well armored that thing is. Uh, high explosive is probably a good a good choice to start with. And uh, we're just trying to get our range. Yep, there we go. Uh, that was a top. To also, she does have torpedoes because uh, it looks like we just detonated one of her torpedo launchers. Um, not sure, entire, not entirely sure where they are. Maybe they're underwater torpedo launchers. Would be a very strange occurrence. Uh, that is an odd layout that the British have built here. I gotta say that. Um, we did detonate one of her torpedo launchers, which I am all in favor of, but she is now definitely running away, so we will give chase. No idea how fast that thing's gonna go. Um, don't think we can tell just yet. We're still identifying what that ship actually is, so we don't quite know yet, but uh, she seems reasonably quick. Now we are starting to take some hits here, but I think this is from the, uh, from the secondary guns. Uh, 7.8 kilometers should be uh, Tuscaloosa should be able to uh, should be able to uh, get a get a better solution than that. Three and a half percent hit rate is a bit low from my taste. Uh, what are we What are we suffering from here? Uh, no, mostly gun, mostly our own gun recoil. To be honest, uh, it's the rate of fire that we are taking here. And I am gonna have to change course because she is definitely running away. So let's uh, let's change on an intercept course that is going to throw our solution off. But uh, we'll get it back. Try to close in a little bit more. Uh, she is starting to score some hits now. Two in two point three inch guns, so more like uh, AA guns, and uh, not really a threat. 
We are getting peppered by these, uh, by these, by her secondaries though. Um, 4.4 inch hits. I have to change the angle a little bit. Let's uh, get a bit closer still. I've slowed down to 27 knots to try and help a bit with the uh, with the accuracy. But, uh, Tuscaloosa hasn't hasn't managed to get her eight inches on target quite uh, quite just yet. She is firing high explosive, except for that initial torpedo detonation. Yeah, these these salvos are way off. It's the Bedford, uh, armed with 9.2 inch guns forward and a whole host of secondaries. She does have torpedoes, so we do have to be, uh, we probably do have to be a little careful. Um, I'm gonna speed up again, and uh, we may have to. I don't know if she uh, if she has launched any, but um, uh, or if we've taken them all out, but uh, assuming multiple launchers. Let's close in to about... Uh, I guess Tuscaloosa is still not managing to get anything on target. There we go. Now we're starting. Um, but this... Uh, now we're starting to see some 8-inch uh, some hits here. That's that's what I'm after. Let's get a close in a little bit more. This is 9-inch nine, nine guns, quite heavy. Uh, no one's done any significant damage yet. Okay, we're starting to give too much of a broadside here. Let's uh, let's turn in a bit more aggressively. And she's now got the armor piercing loaded. Okay, let's get the main guns to use uh, to use AP because she is fully broadsiding over there. Uh, main belt, uh, what is no for forward belt penetration with the eight-inch guns. Okay, uh, slow down to 26 knots, uh, close the range, and then keep her steady. And try to get these shells on target. I want to see some good hits. She is flooding from the uh, uh, from the forward belt penetration there, and we're still struggling to get the eight-inch guns on target. Uh, partial penetrations. We're not punching through that uh, through that belt with the uh, with the eight-inch armor piercing. Okay, let's get back to automatic then. Uh, all ahead flank, uh, close the range. If we are going to have to, if we're going to have to do it the hard way, then we're going to have to get closer. I'm going to get uh, Tuscaloosa into a chase now, into a, a stern chase position, rather than this tangential uh, drive, because that's constantly causing me to having to adjust my course. So uh, let's get her to swing the turrets around and get into a chase position from where we are going to be able to. Uh, to, to sail on and she has to evade rather than us having to adjust course all the time and getting our guns off target. So turn ship around, close in, uh, forward turret swing around, get them on target. I'm not sure how, how fast is she going. Uh, she can go 37 knots. That is a fast heavy cruiser. So we'll better maintain our speed then uh, otherwise she will run away from us. Okay, we've got a good angle. I'm not sure if we get the if we have the rear turret. Uh, rear turret is still swinging around, so we only get the forward guns on target right now. A couple of ranging shots, and then we will. We still need to turn about a little bit more. She's still not evading. We're we're landing we're landing we're landing hits here. Okay, uh, we've got a penetration from the five inch uh, on. On something, on one of the secondaries, I think. I'm more keen to get the heavy eight inches on top, but on target. But uh, the dispersion is terrible. Okay, we are definitely within torpedo range if she has torpedoes ready. She is keeping the course, and uh, yeah, we are we are suffering a bit from the uh, from the damage taken so far on the Tuscaloosa. That is not helping helping the guns, so let's get still closer. Uh, drop speed to 26 knots. I don't think she is going f uh, She is going flank. And I don't want to... Right now we're almost in a collision course. So let's go... Let's go around. Uh, we might be able to just go around her stern and avoid the uh, 9 inches altogether. But I'm not even sure if they're the guns are stuck or if they're on target. It seemed to maybe maybe they have mechanical problems and the guns got stuck. So I haven't seen any fire from the nine inches coming in. It's only the secondaries hammering us here. 
but we're not we're not basically at point blank range and uh, we should we're at three kilometers we should be able to punch through with the armor piercing here uh, oh there she goes Did she? Did she have a flash fire? Uh, it looked like one of the forward turrets just popped off, but uh, I might be wrong there. She is definitely flooding. Um, what we'll do is we'll try to. Uh, she is now uh, now trying to turn away. So yeah, we'll close into po to point blank range and keep hammering her with the armor piercing. I think at this range, the eight inch is going to finish the job. Hopefully, not seeing anything in the. Um, not seeing anything in the in the logs here, but uh, I thought I'd seen a I thought I had seen a, a flash fire somewhere. Okay, let's uh, let's close in and finish her off. Still don't know where she can fire torpedoes from. Yeah, she's dead in the water. I don't think uh, from this from this angle she's not going to be able. Let's drop speed to twenty knots. She's not going to be able to to get her forward guns around if they are still even operational. I think the first, the forward one actually had had a magazine uh, detonation and has that's probably where the flooding in the bow section is coming from because that thing is completely flooded. It almost looks like they were trying to build a Nelson, <laughs> but then decided to do a, to make a cruiser instead. I'm uh, still hammering it with uh, with armor piercing. But uh, it's only a matter of time. She's she's almost done for. She's listing heavily, flooding on all sides, and she's sinking. That was a weird one. Um, really struggling to make to get some damage in against that ship. But uh, uh, she hasn't also been able to do a lot in return. In any case, uh, we are going to have to repair the fleet. So for now, the fleet's going to return to the to ports on the eastern seaboard and then uh, we will launch the next operation once we've reorganized the fleet a little bit. Uh, it's a quick look at um, yeah, a lot of ships, a lot of battleships currently repairing. Uh, let's have a quick look as to how far the, uh, the Baltimores are. Baltimores are eight months away and the Allen M. Sumners are four months away. So we've still got, uh, still got a bit of time uh, until then we have to make do with the fleet that we currently have.